Hi, today we are going to do an exercise that we call the Leadership Effectiveness Check. In this exercise, we'll bring together all the theory that we have covered in this course. We're going to ask you to answer 10 questions that will help you think through your approach to any situation you're facing. Let me first talk you through the 10 questions and then we'll look at a demonstration of an effectiveness check. The first question is, what do I want? We believe that there are only two questions in life that are important. The first is, what do I want? And the second is, how do I make it happen? So this is a really important question. When you answer it, consider all areas of your life and be as specific as possible. So rather than just saying, I want to be happy or I want to contribute to the world, be specific. What would make you happy? How do you want to contribute to the world? Push yourself to put numbers and timelines here. They'll help you get clarity. The second question is, what are the natural strengths I can use? When we talk about natural strengths, we're talking about those strengths that are part of your personality and show up in all areas of your life. We're not talking about just your work experience or your technical skills. The reason we want you to focus on your natural strengths is because if you think that your work experience is a strength, then if you go into a new and unfamiliar role or an industry, you might feel overwhelmed. But if you're clear about what your natural strengths are, you can apply them confidently in any situation you face. The third question is the area where I'm not being effective. This is any place in your life, personal or professional, where you're not producing the results and relationships you want, or where you're getting critical feedback, or you're consistently having a negative experience, frustration, anger, sadness, anxiety, and so on. The next question is a hard one for some people to answer. What is the ineffective choice I'm currently making in this area? There are of course factors outside my control that are contributing to outcomes, but this question is asking you to identify what you are doing or not doing. A choice you are making that is not helping. And the next question looks at why you're making that choice, even though it's ineffective. What is the distorting belief that tricks me into making this choice? And what would be a more empowering belief I could adopt? What would be a different way of looking at the situation that might open up new and better options for me? Options that I hadn't considered or was unwilling to try earlier. The next question just asks you to pause and be present with what you're doing just now. What I notice about the way I've been thinking just now. There is no right or wrong answer to this question or any other question in this exercise. The next question is, what is the strength I'm committed to consciously developing? The new strength on top of your existing natural strength that you think if you develop will help you achieve the outcomes you want. And what is the price I'm willing to pay in the process of developing that strength? There are no free lunches. Like you need to suffer pain in order to build your muscles. You'll also need to pay some emotional prices if you want to develop a new strength. For example, if you want to develop the strength of speaking honestly and directly, the price you might pay is upsetting people and having some people think that you're not a nice person. For every strength, there will be some price you need to pay. So what is it? And then ask yourself, am I really prepared to pay it? Then decide, yes, it's worth it or no, it's not. The final question is not really a question. It's a request for feedback. Find one or two people that you trust and talk them through your answers to these questions. And just the way you asked yourself what you noticed about your own thinking, ask them what is their experience of your thinking about the situation. And then just listen to their feedback without arguing or debating or justifying or even agreeing with them. Just say thank you and tell them you'll think about what they said. So let's look at what an effectiveness check looks like. I want to create an online training business that will add an additional 50 lakhs to our revenue this year. The natural strengths I have that I can use is that I think in a very logical, structured way. The area of not being effective is testing with a large number of people outside Stillwater. The ineffective choice I'm currently making in this area is trying to figure out all the problems that could happen using logic rather than just testing out with people in the real world. The distorting belief that tricks me into making this choice is probably faster to think through the problem by myself than pestering people to help me. A more empowering belief I could adopt is that early testing with friends will give me the confidence to roll it out earlier to clients. And that my friends don't see me asking for help as pestering. In fact, many of them would actually want to help me and actually have fun being part of this. 
What I've noticed about my thinking just now is that I acknowledge that I need to do something that I've been procrastinating on. The strengths I'm committed to developing are networking more and leveraging the goodwill I have of people who want to help me. The prices I'm willing to pay is that sometimes I feel weak when I ask people for help and I wonder if I'm being needy or bothering people. And then, after completing the effectiveness check, you would ask people you trust to give you feedback on what they thought about the way you were thinking through this exercise. That's the exercise for today. And if you find it useful, you can do it once every quarter maybe, so that this way of thinking becomes internalized. Have fun with it. Happy learning.